Hello, I'm Mario Da Silva, Mr. Uruguay 1968, best poster in the Mr. World 1977, and a very proud ambassador of all cool loves. And this is my story. I was born in the, in the capital, I was in Montevideo, but I was very early in life. Uh, one year, I was living in a little village called La Paloma or Durazno. It's in the center of Uruguay, it's a village. I remember that because I have asthma, I was trying to see what can I do to change my life. Because even living in a village, it was no gyms, it was, it was nothing. So I had to use my imagination what to do. And, and I started doing it on my own. Ray Schaefer was uh, Mr. America at that time. And I was so, so impressed by the physique of these guys that I told my friend next door, what about those guys? It's unbelievable. He said, you know, we just have a magazine from, from America. It was Tommy Connor, 1957, Mr. Hawaii in the cover. And the picture of Vince Gironda inside that I studied so much. That picture changed my life. And I started doing my own weights with a, Axel of 1928 Buick in empty cans of pictures and lead and the rest is history. I started lifting on my own, whatever I was able to do. I was feeling so much confident, it changed my life completely in so many ways. I just finished high school in a private school with a Catholic and I went out of the school and somebody told me it was the first Mr. Uruguay was is gonna be happening on January 5th. So at that time, I went to visit my aunt in the capital, in Montevideo. Some people approached me and said, you should compete. I said, no, how can I compete? I was 18 years old, but I did it. I participated in the competition, and that night also changed my life because being on the stage, seeing the lights, and the, the posing, the music, and the television, I was so inspired by this, that you know, even though I got the third place, that motivation said, but next year, I'm going to be the winner. And I had to wait several years before I became the winner because there was no more competition in Uruguay. So I decided to go to Argentina when I was 21 years old. They have the Mr. Argentina contest, also the Mr. Argentina for foreigner contestants. And then I won. That, that was the most important thing that ever happened to me because when I won the show in Argentina, it was so amazing what I, how I feel, being in the magazine, cover of magazines. So, and I was waiting to compete again in Mr. Uruguay. So in 1968, uh, it was the second Mr. Uruguay, uh, and I compete, and I won. Then it was uh, an invitation for the Mr. Universe in Miami, and that, that's it, that's what I'm here now. Changed my life, I, I competed in Miami, I went back to Uruguay, and then uh, I came back in 1970 and competed in three Mr. Worlds. Uh, what I did is a competition, I never took any drugs, um, but I won in, in different competitions, best poser. And in 1977, in Mexico, in the Mr. World, I won best poser in the Mr. World, and then also I did some other shows. And, and that's what I, I always trying to inspire people to do this, it's, it's amazing the transformation in, in your personality, in your confidence. You have a confidence in a level that very few people achieve. It's the way you have to feel about yourself. You project yourself to the world that I'm here. Doesn't mean that you're better than anybody, but you're not less than anybody. And that's my point. If you want something, if you have the passion, that's the word. Once you have a passion for something, you, you get there, no matter what. It was not about money, it's not about being just the richest guy in the world. But I want to be somebody that he feels great about himself, less than nobody. And that's the way I feel even now. I feel I'm good, I feel I'm a good person. And I think bodybuilding has a lot to do, a lot to do with this. I'm honored to share my story with you. And I really encourage you to subscribe for more videos like this. Keep it old school.